Hello friends, Angel with Unbasic Black here. Today we are coming to you talking about politics and local government. I think one of the most cherished tenets of American democracy in our republic is our right to vote. It was extremely important to, to the uh, founding fathers and there are several amendments in the Constitution <laughs> to secure the rights of people to vote. And then that's a whole other thing. Sorry to go off on a tangent. <laughs> Stick to it. So I'm bringing, bringing up voting because we got an election coming up next year and <clears throat> there's a lot, a lot of people, there are a lot of people who want to be the next president of the United States and a lot of people have agendas and things and they may or may not align with what you believe is best for the country uh, but they're um, but they they are trying to get your vote So not too long ago, I remember going to one of our homeowners association meetings and looking around and there was only like eight people there and I remember thinking why isn't there more people here because i i'm newly you know moving into the neighborhood you know purchasing a home and and i'm like why isn't there more people here because the things that we decide here is going to affect our community it's going to affect the properties around us why isn't more people interested in this um so it got me to thinking because you know that night they voted on some things and there was only eight people there to vote <laughs> so it made me wonder how much stuff are they passing um without anyone challenging it so then when something springs up in the neighborhood you can't complain about it because you weren't in attendance you weren't there to vote um now there there are you know um uh, proxies that you can you can you can assign a proxy but it still it is important that you know for yourself what's going on not allowing someone else to represent you and vote on your behalf because your agenda and their agenda may be totally different i was really surprised by that and the main thing to do is you got to learn the election the election system learn it and with that, it's important to not only vote for who the next president is, because you know there's two ways to do this. Two th two things that helps the president become to help to, to help a person become president. You have the popular vote, which sometimes align with the electoral college cells. At any rate, so um, one of the things that I find extremely important. And, and I am guilty of not doing it as much as I should, is participating in local government, particularly learning who your local, who, who your mayor is, who your city council is. And it depends on how your government is set up. It's going to be like that. There's um, some places don't even have like a council. They have more like a management team, a group of people who get together, but they get voted in. So it's important to know who these people are because it trickles. I think with the, with our government in particular, it's one of the few things that trickle up. So, you know, you got the trickle down that, that is frowned upon. So let's trickle up kind of, so um, our voting, our, um, our local elections help us to trickle up. So we put in the people who we feel are going to serve our best interests as a, as a community. It, and so back to what I was saying, it's important to make sure that you learn who these people are. Who's the person running for mayor? Who's the person running for city council? Who's the person running for sheriff? Who's running for judge? So I'm pretty sure um, if you just go to your state government website, um, you can probably sign up for their mailing list. They probably have some sort of email system like the one that um, that we have here. It has like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know, if you go to their website, you can also sign up for the mailing list, which is how I get this report. Um, and find out what your legislation is doing. Find out what your legislators are coming up with 
um, if you don't have time to actually attend the meetings, because they're all open to the public. So if you don't have time to actually attend the meetings, at least go to their website, um, you know, like once a month and find out what bills are on the table, what um, type of things are coming out. So that way you're aware. Knowledge is power. And the more you equip your equip yourself, the more your voice is heard. And People have fought for generations just for the ability to have their voice heard. And now all you have to do is click it on the computer. So get out there, find out what your legislators are doing, find out what your government is doing. So that way you're always informed and when these votes and things come around, you know what you're voting on. So local elections, so who's your mayor? Who's your city council? Who's that whole list of people that is in the, 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 the elections that we have every two years to vote in, who our, our local government is, who are those people? And also, do you attend the city council meetings? Those referendums that come up to, uh, my sister was talking about, there was a park that used to be on her way to work and now it's not there anymore. How did that happen? Who decided, that, who decided that that park was not necessary when there used to be a whole bunch of people who would go there? It was a utilized park, so why is it no more? Why is the park no more? So those things, those are things to look at. So the things that go on in your city or in your town, how do these things come to be? What kind of businesses are your civic leaders looking for in looking forward to come to your town or to your your sex to your neighborhood because neighborhoods are affected i went to and um a few years ago and, I, and like I, I confess i'm bad at it and i really need to get back on it because there are things happening in my town that i'm trying to understand they're building a lot of houses i'm always concerned about the water because we're supposed to be in a water shortage and yet uh, there are casino casinos coming up and more housing coming up. Where are we getting the water for, from to handle all these houses and these businesses that are coming up? They, they just finished, they're finishing up a Red Lobster right up the street. Yay for that. <laughs> I'm glad it's gonna be closer. I don't have to drive all the way across town just to, just to, to go to Red Lobster. However, environmental things come up for me. So who, are the people in our local government concerned about the environment or are they just concerned about attracting businesses? And if they are concerned about attracting businesses, are they using these businesses to further our school systems? Nevada has one of the, is almost at the bottom for um, the school district, school system. It's, it's not a good one. How, how is that being decided? Who's the governor? Who's, who's, who are our state elected officials? Who are those people? What kind of values do they have? Are they in line with our own values? Are they looking out for our particular community? So May did a really good job explaining um, kind of how the uh, judiciary system works. I think it's um, very important that we as citizens pay attention to what our legislation, you know, what our legislators are doing, what our government is doing. Uh, one of the things like when we were talking about like local government that stood out to me was um, a, uh, do a uh, report that comes out from our representative and um, it's got a lot of information in it. So hopefully you're reading those. Um, because they provide a lot of information um, about what's going on in your particular area. So this comes from uh, the state representative um, and lists all of the bills and projects and things that are going on. And I mean, they have everything on there from um, health and human bills, um, crime and transportation um, bills, condos, um, condo associations and things like that. So you may live in a neighborhood that has a vacant lot across the street and the next thing you know, they're putting up all kinds of, um, you know, home development projects. Where these things gets passed is in your local government. So if you're not attending those council meetings and you're not, uh, you know, voting in those elections, these things are getting passed 
and they're just passing you by because you have no knowledge of them. So when there's a Dairy Queen across the street from your house, don't complain. <laughs> Wait, why would we complain about a Dairy Queen? <laughs> anyway, um, so um, improvement projects, that's another one that's on there. And these are your tax dollars. This, this is your local government. So these are taxes, state taxes that you're paying that goes towards these things. You know, um, grants and aids and um, yeah, grants and um, improvement projects and things like that that are being paid out from monies that you pay in taxes. So if you're not aware of your local legislation then you have no idea where your money is going and we should always know where our money is going and then that way we can improve our communities and know you know what what our leaders are doing to improve our communities is the money going to a good source again i said they they have a whole list of grants and some of these organizations i've never even heard of so when you say how is that organization getting government money well, this is how, because they have these grants <laughs> that they've been approved for. And if you don't pay any attention to it, you know, th this is where your money is going. Um, so I, I think it's very important that we pay attention. Like I said, May did a really good job explaining the breakdown of the, of the, of the judiciary system. So it's important that we know what our rights are, register to vote, make your voice heard and get involved in your community. And another point to bring up is at these local meetings, I know we work and I'm guilty. I'm super guilty. I get off work. I don't, I don't want to go anywhere else. However, our elected officials, they work too. They have day jobs. And then at night, every uh, here, it's every two weeks, they have a meeting, the city council meeting and they go in and people, businesses, I've been to a few, the businesses come in, this is what we wanna do. And there'll be a few, not very many, unless it's something huge, but there'll be a few who come in and they'll say, yeah, we want this in our neighborhood or no. I went to one meeting, they were like, uh-uh, no, you cannot put this business near our neighborhood because it's gonna attract these, this kind of thing, whatever it is. So. Um, make sure that you get it if the only way we're gonna make any kind of positive changes is if we get involved um, what's that saying the only way for evil to prosper is for good men to do nothing or good people to do nothing and that's the case that's what it ends up being um, and it works to the advantage of those who are trying to exploit the system because we are busy and we have we have our lives, so we depend on other people, our elected people, to take care of us. But if we are not paying attention to the people that either we vote in or that we allow to get voted in because we don't vote, then we can't really make a, com well, we can, we can complain, but it won't do any good because we were not part of the solution. We can attend the city council meetings or, or whatever, however your government is set up, those meetings are, pu are public. You can just go there. You don't have to wait for an invitation or anything. You can check your government's website, the city, your city or your county website, because the, the counties also have a, a government as well. Our county does. We have, a, uh, we have city and then we have county government. So um, find out when those meetings are go to those meetings and see what they're talking about you can accessible online we can print the agendas and we can uh, print we can print those attachments for the things that come up like uh there's business proposals or there are referendums that they need to vote on and then we can go to those meetings they give time at the beginning and the end of the meeting for public comment so um and and i've seen it where people take advantage of those comments and they come up and they, they say their piece about either what's going to happen in the meeting or what happened in the previous meeting let their opinions known because if you don't say anything then your government won't know what you want or what you don't want in your community so get involved that's the only way that you're really going to affect change all right so that's it for today thank you for listening as always we are talking about everything so join us for many more conversations on unbasic black <laughs>